Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Today, Al Franken returned to work despite calls for the embattled Minnesota senator to resign. One day after speaking exclusively to WCCO's Esme Murphy, he reiterated his apologetic tone outside his D.C. office. I know there are no magic words that I can say uh, to regain your trust, and I know that's going to take time. I'm ready to start that process, and it starts with going back to work today. And WCCO's Jeff Wagner continues our coverage on this story and joins us now. So, Jeff, what stood out about his remarks today? Well, Senator Franken talked about how he's done a lot of reflecting and that he's trying to learn from his mistakes, but he also plans to do so as a U.S. senator. Critics, however, feel resigning is his only option. I am embarrassed. I feel ashamed. But Senator Al Franken does uh, not feel the need to step down. I've been trying to take responsibility. By apologizing. Both to his accusers and supporters. Four women say Franken groped them. Three say it happened while taking a picture with him. Franken told WCCO's Esme Murphy he doesn't recall those incidents the same way. Have you ever placed a hand on some woman's butt? You know, I, I, I can't say that that hasn't happened. I take thousands and thousands of pictures. We sometimes in crowded and chaotic situations. Uh, I can't say I haven't done that. Franken's response only furthered state Republican Party chair Jennifer Carnahan's desire for him to resign. Is his apologies, if you listen to it, are, I'm sorry the victim felt this way, I don't recall the incident, versus taking ownership and accountability of his specific actions that are being alleged by these individuals. Even with his apology, political analysts feel his credibility took a hit on both sides of the aisle. Democrats and Republicans are divided over this, but this is going to affect Franken's ability to be effective, at least in the short term. I think the longer term question is unclear. On CBS This Morning Monday, Esme addressed that despite Senator Franken's long list of critics, he also has one filled with supporters. Can he survive this, yes or no, do you think? You know, I think at this point, especially with those 65 Democratic women coming forward, 14 staffers, including some that had very prominent positions in his office, are supporting him. 35 people from Saturday Night Live, women, have signed a letter saying that. At this point, yes. If other things come out, though, mm -hmm. I think there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Right. Senator Franken says he will cooperate with an ethics committee investigation into those allegations. He is not up for re-election until 2020, but today he said it's too early to decide if he would seek a third term. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm.